Hi uh, hey everyone, and it's time for episode number seven. Yeah, seven of our little review series. Before I get to that, I keep forgetting to do this. Uh, for the past parts where I saw the episodes, uh, 126, level 1, I saw on Nick.com. And the 5x5 five five and 6x6, six six, but level 2 did not work. Uh, 131, I saw on TV. When they start, like, rerunning season 2 on Nicktoons, they had the both celebrity episodes. And then 141, I did not see until the 2019 leak. Uh, which, that's actually a delete reaction video, because most of it was me just bitching the entire time. Uh, this episode I actually saw when it first aired, so yay. Uh, first of all, before we even get into the damn, uh, thing, I need to play two contestant, uh, things at the beginning, because GSK completely fucked them up. Okay, what's their GSK count at now? Like, yeah, eight, because there's two, because listen to Yuki and Brian sing. Yuki claims he can read people's minds. Wonder if he knows what I'm thinking. He wants to be a fashion designer. Welcome to Project Slimeway. Brian wants eight five hot dogs in one minute. Wonder how long it took him to spit them out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can claim to read people's eyes. And once a hot rod bike made in a... What am I reading? Oh wait, make that seven because they didn't even include Aaron's answer. She's not even that good. Speaking of Aaron, this isn't even that good of an intro. Let's go! Level one! I shot with my teeth? Yeah, you have them right there. Uh, oh yeah, that's my lunch. You want it? No, I'm good. Okay. Uh, ten point puzzle. Uh, burning our again cursed. I do like what Christina says here, so I guess our contestants. Uh, these two were actually on other shows. Brian was on Destroy, Build, and Destroy with uh, 212's Brenton, and I believe he actually won. And Christina was actually with her twin on Picture Rica, and they actually won too, so yay. Alright, Christina, how do you think you did? I'm not really sure. That was kind of hard. It was kind of hard. Why was it hard? I didn't know they'd be backwards and upside down. Oh, okay. So it was a surprise attack. All right. Yes. Let's see what the correct answer is. Oh, actually, the 10 to 100 pointers were actually on, on demand, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, only one person. Uh, 20 point puzzle, dodgeball. Everyone got it right. Uh, this was added to hell. Uh, Yuki's thing. Yuki, you play much dodgeball? Oh, yeah. Let's just see what the correct answer is. Yeah, okay, like cut him off. Also, up for that? Yeah. yeah. All right, take a look at this. Damn, I'm looking to give away 40 points. You got yeah, they cut off the 30 pointer. Uh, missing number, blue background. Only two people got it right. Again, GSK didn't put them. Uh, 50 point puzzle. I will say this. Oh, I forgot to give this level a score because I'm too distracted by GSK BS. GSK BS. Uh, score for level one of um, three out of ten. The second lowest score. This is also the only time two people ever miss a puzzle. Which, like Josh said in the group review, uh, this isn't even the lowest. One eleven is the lowest. Like just imagine having two stumpers and not having the lowest score, while one with no stumpers does. <laughs> So Brian freaking carries this episode so much. How do we think we did here? Bad. Uh, okay. Bad. Reasonable. Can you can you make them a little bit easier? <laughs> oh, I'll see what I can do. Let me check. No, I can't. I'm sorry, Brian. Uh, if you think you got this one right, let's put your ear to the camera. Okay, JP and Aaron. Brian's going with his eye. Yeah, that wasn't his ear, so I guess that's gonna be one of these. All right, let's have a let's see who got. Yeah, JP also has the lowest 100, uh, the lowest first place score. Uh, also, 100 pointers monster bed, which, good luck on that. Uh, anyway? Uh, I have monster in my closet. They're, okay. they're very scary. 
Uh, nobody gets it right. Also, what the frick? 13? Uh, Brian does move on, though, so that's good. Uh, next, our story. I feel like it was a little too harsh in this episode. Oh, we're already five fucking minutes in this goddamn episode. Jesus Christ, this review. <laughs> okay, so the story, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. I like the story. Before we do, I got to play Brian doing the worm. Ask you some questions about the of truth. That are That's what I'm talking about. Oh, let's do it, let's okay? do it, man. Let's do it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. Uh, so this is a secret agent thing, kind of a 007 parody. Uh, I actually really like it. Okay, not really like it. It's a 6 out of 10. It's a decent story, honestly. In high school, I was known as Jeff, the class clown. But on weekends, I was secret agent 0015 and a half spy guy. I was leaving school one day when my skateboard rang. According to my boss, P, something was making everyone's text messages read backwards. G. M. O. Racing home, I was chased by some bad dudes on some BMX bikes. I activated my booger ejector and they were history. Lifting a secret map from one of them, I knew where I had to go. Making a quick change into my three-piece wetsuit, I jumped on my turbo surfboard and I soon arrived at the island fortress cleverly disguised as a resort. After figuring out that Yar Liv was Evil Ray backwards, I turned off the reverse ray. Just then, that dreaded henchman Big Burp let out a supersonic belch that sent me flying. When I awoke, I was hanging by an atomic wedgie in front of the evil mastermind, Dr. Disorder. He unveiled his newest weapon, an army of super smart, super bad brain bots. Quickly thinking, I wrote an unanswerable question on the blackboard that gave the androids brain farts so big their heads exploded. The chain reaction destroyed the fortress, and I was headed home for dinner. Sweet. That's my story, and as I mentioned before, it's all true. Okay, so... Uh, level 2. God, this is gonna be a long fucking video, isn't it? Whatever, it's d uh, 1 out of 10. Uh, two questions. It's 8 8. Like, you can tell because of the damn wacky music. I'll explain what that is in a second. ...with my boss by talking into what object yeah, with wheels. Yeah, That's not round 1 music. Sit down, find out. Very good. And That's at least like a round or like two rounds they skipped. Aaron, what henchman knocked me down with his supersonic belch? Uh. Oof. Uh. Christina, I'm going to ask you the same question. What henchman knocked me down with his supersonic belch? Uh. Ooh, but it stumped two. Time's running out. Give me a name. Anything. Doctor Disorder. Doctor Disorder. Have a seat. I mean, that's not a terrible answer because it was something in the story. Also, again, W for Brian. JP, Brian, guess what? What? No! <laughs> it's time for a knockout round! <laughs> knockout round. Uh, knockout round gets a 5 out of 10. Uh, repairs. Again, Brian uh, carrying this. Okay, did you guys get a good look? Yeah. No. No. Would you like to see it again? Yeah. Sorry. JP, what's your first number? Sure. Max, Brian, it's over to you. How about your first number? Twelve. Twelve? Very yeah. aggressively. Hey, that's you. That's me. Sixteen. And sixteen. That's me again. You got your number. Three. But what is happening? And 14. And 14 for the win. Yeah, Brian Savage loses. Episode carry loses, and then level 3 again, a 5 or 10. Uh, it's a camera. I think you're kind of screwed as it is. Uh, 4x4, four four, not too bad, but again, he just, he just sucks, like, on every single one of these paths. <laughs> And the clock is going to start when you make your first step. Good luck, bud. He's off and quickly. Oh, you see it? There you go. He knows what he did. He just overstepped too quick because he's... Turn it back. All right, take a breath. 
There it is. You see where you went wrong? There it is. He's done. Stop the clock, Pepe! Yeah! Another 5x5, five five. again, doesn't look too bad. Here's your second pass, check it out. Remember, you're gonna see it twice. Okay? The clock will start when you make your step again. He's off. Yeah! Hi, right, KB, take a breath, take a look. You got time, you got time. Here it goes. This is where you got last time. All right? You got that far. It's those last few that are getting you. You're so close, you're so close. All right, he's I feel it, I feel it, JP, I feel it! The crowd watching it! Yeah! And then six squares. And it starts when you make your path. Remember, this is for the sliding. This was actually used by the Jones family in season three, but they had more time. In a trip to Las Vegas. All right, here it is one more time. 26 six seconds left on the clock, so. and it starts when you make your step. Yeah. He's off, and quick, too. Look at him, he's so quick. Take a look. 15 seconds left, go. He's got a great crossover move. Three, 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 so this actually ties it with 109. Yeah, basically the difference is this has a better story, but 109 has a better knockout round. Sorry, not knockout round, uh, better level 2. Yeah, so I've been kind of harsh on this episode because it was ranked low. Like, the episode isn't great, honestly, but I mean... Brian definitely carries this episode. The story is pretty decent. I again, it's another thing because it, and level two is freeze mediocre. It's just another case where just freaking editing ruins everything. Uh, what are we reviewing next? The strangest jobs of all were the balloon animal trainer and spelling bee keeper. After all that, I had the perfect resume for becoming a game show host. Oh, okay. This is this is gonna be interesting because this episode is not very where at least most of the episode is actually pretty good, but the ending isn't that good. And I actually bump this episode up uh, quite a bit, honestly. It was originally thirty three. I ranked it to twenty six because I actually think this episode isn't that bad. I mean, it's decent, I guess. You know what I mean, mid. See you guys more we review 108, where we also get a uh, pilot photo. See you guys then.